so. Yes. <laughs> we are All right. Appropriately, appropriately dressed, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Major Brandon Dell, call sign Curbside. Uh, I'm a rotating instructor at uh, US Naval Test Pilot School. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Victoria McCray, call sign VSOD, Blue Screen of Death, and I am a project officer at BX23. So we're both test pilot school graduates. Uh, I graduated in 2020 with class 158, uh, Victoria's with class 161. Uh, but this T-38 Charlie is one of the fixed wing aircraft that our fixed wing students use. Uh, so an aircraft that Victoria used uh, in the 11th month course uh, for Naval Test Pilot School. Uh, and so we have three primary curriculums with so fixed wing, rotary wing, and systems. Uh, and through that 11th month course, uh, we teach uh, Navy, Marine Corps, and Army aviators uh, how to conduct flight test evaluation. So new systems, new capabilities, sometimes completely new aircraft. Uh, these are the individuals that will go to their respective test squadrons like VX-23 uh, and test those uh, those things out. So, uh, Victoria, anything you want to add? Yeah. Well, honestly, I think you covered uh, essentially what our purpose is here. Currently in my project, uh, I got to, my fleet squadron was EA-18G and now I'm still doing systems testing it, at strike for EA-18G as well as other fixed wing aircraft. Um, and then you just came from Matrix One. I did, yes. So um, the Navy and Marine Corps rotary wing test squadron is HX-21. The fixed wing test squadron, as Victoria mentioned, is VX-23. Uh, but so we handle all uh, systems for developmental tests. Uh, so for me specifically, H1 background. Uh, so Hueys and Cobras for the Marine Corps. Uh, I was at HX-21 for three and a half years, getting to work on a number of dis different systems. Uh, survivability systems were my primary area of focus. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough, I uh, just started back uh, at the schoolhouse as a rotoring instructor uh, two months ago. So uh, it is true, I am a helicopter pilot masquerading as a T-38 pilot at the moment. So don't ask too many T-38 questions or I'll have to defer No, 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 no. Now, odds. when I was out at Edwards, I got a chance to fly the UH-1N. Gotcha. Uh, you know, you, you talk about humbling. <laughs> and I said, you know, when I usually worked this hard, I was going a lot faster. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, if you can rub your stomach, catch your head, and jump up and down at the same time, you'll be a great helicopter pilot. Well, I, my problem was I wanted to scratch my nose and I couldn't. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, you needed one more free hand. I needed that. one more free hand, yeah. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. Absolutely fun to do. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I uh, never had any November time myself. The Marine Corps upgraded to the UH-1Y, uh, the Yankees. Uh, so I'm a pure Yankee pilot. Uh, and what, is, uh, what does it have different? Because the N had two engines. Yes, so the Yankee also has two engines, uh, 401 Charlies, uh, so T700 GE 401 Charlies, uh, but it's a four-bladed rotor system now for the main rotor and the tail rotor. So Ooh. it's a little sad because the iconic wop, wop, wop yeah. uh, is gone. You still get a little bit of it depending on how hard you bank, but uh, no, the new aircraft are phenomenal. Um, the UH-1Y uh, is... 18,500 pounds max gross weight takeoff and uh, I can take troops in the back, full cargo load, full weapons load. We run out of space to put things before I run out of power to pick it up. Mm. So. And of course you, you do a lot of aerobatics in the uh, helicopter, right? Oh yeah, uh, you want to, we can go inverted if you want. Do you really? No, because, I'm kidding, I'm okay. I'm kidding. I, 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 anything once. Yeah. I, no, I was, at, uh, I was at a test pilot uh, society meeting yeah. in Regensburg and I saw my first aerobatic helicopter demonstration and it was like wow in fact it was it was not your typical air show the air show line was right over the top of us and one of the guys pulled up and we're looking at him vertically yep. and the uh, the guy next to me says if he doesn't pull out he's going to kill almost all the western test pilots of the world <laughs> Uh, there is a video out there of initial flight test of the CH-53. If you want to see a helicopter actually do a legit barrel roll, it's mm -hmm. probably on YouTube somewhere. So as long as it keeps yeah. positive G, he's probably okay. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. It's the terrifying. inverted <laughs> flight condition, terrifying. yes. Yeah. All as right. It goes inverted quite frequently in my <laughs> aircraft. That's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you, guys. I yeah, really appreciate it. Have a good time up here at Oshkosh and keep cool. <laughs> oh. And your your call sign is curbside. Yes. And where does that come from? Oh, I don't. I can't give you that full story. On okay. <laughs> a typical name where you can't. But you told me earlier that. So it Victoria, stands for blue screen of death. Blue screen of death. Now Victoria, beautiful name. Blue screen of death. Yeah, not quite so much. <laughs> um, I may have involved getting uh, picked up outside of a bar at uh, an unreasonable hour. Uh, but I guess. Is there such a thing? No, certainly not. <laughs> certainly not. 
All right, I, I'm not going to tell you about my call signs. All right, All right. <laughs> I will. I will tell you that I was also a captain, but in in the Air Force, you know, we we called ourselves captains. The Navy is smart. You can't go into Navy base and tell them you're captain because they'll go Air Force, right? And they go, yeah, how'd you know? You know, yeah, yeah, they can't fool them. Oh well, they tried. Yeah. You guys take care. Enjoy. Enjoy your visit. Take care.